Hi everyone, Emma here. I'm so excited to show you how to make this lovely bracelet. So this is made with flat leather and some fire polish beads and the findings are a anchor uh, closure with some slider beads to secure your leather. So let's talk about the leather right now. Get this in focus. Um, this is flat leather that I bought from Exotica Leather, and I'll put the link to Exotica in the description. That's where I buy all of my leather. They are amazing. The leather is so beautiful. The It's quality and uh, softness and colors and durability. So, um... There was something I wanted to mention. Oh, I have uh, leather um, cord unboxings, so you you can see some of the stuff I bought. So I bought a whole bunch. So this here, if you are looking to make some bracelets like this, this is like a super easy bracelet to make for um, craft sales. And of course, they're they're a little different than what you would normally see in a leather bracelet. And it has a little bit of a, I feel, a little higher end kind of upscale than, say, the boho style. So, um, yeah, take a look. Um, the clasp and the sliders are from AliExpress. And I've I've shown these in unboxings. But if, um, if you want, I'll do my best to get the link. Sometimes um, things change on AliExpress, so it's hard to get the links for them. But I'll do my best. And if you just... Um, Put in the search bar, uh, anchor uh, findings for leather, you'll come up. Th these are a pretty popular design, so but they're super nice, nice and thick. So, uh, the fire polish, let me grab the fire polish that we're going to be using. So, this is the one that I have on there. This is an olive bean. And it goes so amazing with this red leather. That's the other thing with Exotica. They have a lot of really cool colored leather. So this was I got from um, Shipwreck Beads on a sale. These are Preciosa Fire Polish. And they're stunning. And they were really reasonably priced. So the one we're going to make today is with these ones. If you haven't figured that out already, <laughs> but yeah, this was again, this was a good, crazy sale that they had. I think, I think it was something crazy like five dollars. Like, uh, how could you pass up? That's a Starbucks coffee, <laughs> and I don't drink Starbucks coffee, so I have lots of money for beads. <laughs> so the here we're gonna do silver to go with these, and these are the sliders what they look like so these sliders the size fits really well with this leather as you can see here and unfortunately it's kind of a a hit or miss with some of these sliders that you get it's really hard sometimes they don't list the whole size and stuff so um i have a bunch if you're you know like i said i'll i'll try and find this one exactly they are super nice because they're they're nicely rounded so they look really high-end and professional um, yeah so there's that you're gonna need some uh, craft wire I'm using the um, Ben create permanently colored wire this is silver and this is 24 gauge and that's just to put your beads on so the fact that these beads are sitting nicely is because it's on wire um, if you don't have any wire you can use cord but what will happen is it will most likely fall down and it won't stay in the middle so you can see there's like a gap so you can either wear it like this so it looks like one big piece of leather and some beads on in the front or you can open it up and it looks like three bracelets however you want to do it you're going to need some tools so you need your cutters for the wire and I use these flat nose pliers to bend the piece of wire around the leather 
And I also use this, you can use your scissors or an X-Acto blade, whatever you use for like sharp cutting. This here is specifically for cutting leather and you can see it's beveled on the end. So you can take your leather like this and you can shave parts of it off. It's hard to do it here on the, I'll have to get something firm to put it on. But anyway, I don't know if this one's maybe this side. I'll show you. Yeah, you can see now it's cutting it. Okay, what we want to do is we just want to angle this a bit, if you see here, so that you could get it to slide into the slider bead. And once it's in, you can pull this through with your needle nose like this, and then it's in there it won't move like it's nice and secure because it's the leather's thick enough so let's talk about the leather so this leather you can buy like i said from uh, exotica and now i have five yards in this section here they sell it by the yard it's two dollars a yard so you can imagine you know five times that it's still a fair amount of leather if you buy multiple yards of it it's not cut to the yard so it you get one long piece that is amazing because then there's very little wastage when you're making your bracelet so this is the color we're going to use this is called let me see natural brown Yeah, natural brown. And the other one's called natural red flat. This one here. <laughs> I love. I love their red colored leather. It's stunning. So let's get going here. Um, I'm going to measure my mandrel just to show you. This here I made for myself. So I believe, yes. It fits a six inch wrist. My wrist is five and three quarters. This is a little bit loose on me, but this leather is uh, rigid. So you wanna have more space than usual because it's, it's gonna bother you if it's on your wrist and it's hard. So I did just that quarter inch extra. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do one for Let's try seven. I was gonna do a seven and a half, but I think seven would work. So if you take a look at this, the leather, you start on this end here, you go around this way, you come down here, then you go around and come back. So you basically are doubling up what you need for your wrist size. So seven would be 14 inches, but I want you to add another four inches on top of that. So I said 14, so 18 inches. We're gonna, this area here, the fold over is, I mean, if you go by here, it's, it's two inches. And then you wanna give an inch on each end for this fold over. So you always have to remember those extra little pieces. Okay, so I will leave that open. So what I'm gonna do to measure that is just to show you, I am gonna just go around the seven mark twice, and then we'll, we'll measure it with the ruler and see how close my mandrel is. So there's two times around. So here, let's just do this, and then we'll add four inches to this. Okay, there's four inches. So I said this needed to be 18. Let's take a look how accurate my mandrel is. I'm putting myself on the spot here. So we've got 12. Look at that, 16. I am shocked. There's the 
So it's a little over 16. Okay, so let's cut that. I think we're safe to cut that. I'm going to try cutting it this way. So I got my little angle started. And there we go. Is our two pieces, or one piece, I mean. And we'll put the ruler aside. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to take a look. And you can always, you know, eyeball this and, and you know, test it on your wrist. So let's start with, so all I've done is fold it in half. Just take the first slider and it, it slides on pretty easily. But once we get up to here, because we haven't like pinched this close, it will get uh, secure where it's not going to move. You see how it's starting to get tight? Let's just bring it up. Let's see. So yeah, we don't need it that long. Now, if you're if you have problems putting on your bracelet just because you have problems with your hands or anything, then you might want to leave this bigger or longer this way so that you can easily get in and out. But let's test this too. This is going on super easy. Now, what you can do is add some glue. Yeah, I think this one's so all leather is different. Let me see. Well, actually, once we get the wire on there, it might hold it in place. So let's take a look. You can kind of see the wire there. Slightly. So the wire will also make it stiff. So let's cut the wire. And all I'm going to do is cut you know, the same length here for the wire. And I'm going to cut a bit more and then we'll just cut that off. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this up a bit and then once my wire is on, then I'll pull it back in place. So I don't need to go very far. And I'm just going to take the wire and slide it in between the two and then get it as close to the end as possible where the spacer is and just fold it with your hands and then I am going to flatten it. Do you know what? I this wire seems um, thicker. Let me take a look here. No, I guess that's it. I might have gone around a couple of times, so let's try that. Go once. Yeah, that's probably what I did. And this 24 gauge wire is great to work with because it is so... Um, easy and pliable. So I am going to go to the side because I will tell you that if you don't flatten the side here, it will um, it will be hard to get your slider over it. Okay, so that actually, let me see if I can get that a little snugger there. There we go. And then Pull this piece down. Fold it over. Press it down. Okay. Now I'm just going to, we want our wire to be in the middle and at the front. So I'm going to push this one forward. You don't have to put as much wire as I'm putting. I didn't on the other one. But it just seems to be working out that way. So we're 
going to go with it. I'm hoping to make a lot more uh, leather bracelets. I know a lot of people have been asking. So let's get this nice and snug in the middle. And then just take your finger and, and slide your your um, wire so that it straightens out a bit. I'm just going to try and bring that forward and fold it down like that. So you can slide your beads on there. So that's going to easily go in. I am going to put some glue. And I bought some new glue. Um, actually, you know what? I think I might use the I got some crazy glue. I think I'm going to use this hypo because it has this lovely needle that you can get in nicely. And actually, we don't have to slide it under the bead because we're going to slide the bead on top. So just do it some straight across. Actually, we'll do it on the back too. It'll probably stick better on the back. There's no wire in the way. And let's close this up. There. Okay. So hang on to everything and slide this. There. I'm just gonna, I can see the wire there. I don't want that being on anybody's wrist. So I'm gonna poke it in there, that, and there we have that side. So now we are gonna put some beads on. But before we do that, we want to make sure we have the length so we know exactly how many beads to put. So let me get this out here. Let's do this. There, there we are. Okay. So probably to about here. Oops. See what the measurement is for that. Like that. Five inches. Okay. I guess I better put, keep this out. So let's get some of these beads out. Oops. I think this, what I had in the baggie, is a strand. So. There. So, <laughs> big news at our house. We went for a bike ride on Saturday, and when we got home, my wife hurt her back. So she's in bed right now, and it's like 3 o'clock in the afternoon on Monday, Labor Day. Uh, thank goodness I didn't have to take her to the hospital. In the past, I would have, but now I kind of know the routine, and we have the drugs around, both for my back and hers. So we were able to, you know, anticipate what they would order for her anyway. So that way we didn't have to go to the emergency room. Hopefully she'll be able to see the family doctor tomorrow. But we're hoping that it's just muscular and not, um, you know, vertebrae and neurological but she's not getting any neurological pain. She's just uh, 
getting a lot of lower back pain. Okay. Oh, wow. This is looking nice. Okay. So here's five. We're almost there. Let's do let's try three or four more. So you can see it doesn't use the full strand either. Let's get that in there. Add another one. See, we may need more. I, if you are a beater, you know that um, a flat line, straight line, is shorter than when you put your beads on a strand and wrap it around your wrist. You see how it wants to go in there, so you have to actually, you know, measure it on a round. Surface. So I think there's no way we would put the clasp there. So I think we need, I'm going to say another 10 probably. So let's get some more here. So she is feeling better today. We've been doing ice and massage and stretching and resting. She hates ice. And of course, I'm always the one telling her to put ice on. I would live on ice. <laughs> it doesn't bother me at all. But it's... She was an athlete, so she's so... You know, she's had ice her whole life for injuries. So she don't like it no more. Okay, let me get this. I better not make fun of her. That's not nice. Okay, so that's way too much. Let's take four off to start with. I am going to measure this on the mandrel before we start folding things. I think so actually if you look at this one there's a distance here where the slider is, so that might work. I think we can still, I was probably right before, so let's do four and then we'll do a mock up here and measure it on the mandrel. So I think doing leather Probably the biggest thing that people, I know the biggest thing that people ask me is measurements. And it's one of those things that leather's kind of expensive. So you want to make sure you get the correct measurement and not have to waste your um, leather cutting multiple pieces. So... The best way I know is always measure for the wrist that you're working on. And then there's, I have some other tricks we can talk about when we do those types of bracelets, like leather wrap bracelets. Let's see, I'm having a hard time getting this. Here, let me fold this. It doesn't move anywhere. That's better. You see how it it went down on this side? So let's... Yeah, I think that's going to do it. Okay. So now we want to get this guy wrapped around the leather, but we still have to keep it circular. That should do it. So bring it between the two pieces. About there. Oh, 
I am going to just fold it here, and if I have to fix it, I will. It's getting a little fidgety here. Okay, I'm just checking to make sure there's not any huge gaps between the... This is going to look amazing. Okay, so let's, let's fix this so that it's nice and tight against the leather. Gonna... I apologize I'm uh, I keep pulling away from the camera I find when you're working with tools and leather it's hard to do it at a distance okay so let's flatten this a bit and then pull this there. Fold it one more time. Okay, we can cut that now. Nice and flat. There. Okay, that should do it. Now we are we need to get our slider in here. Actually, we should um, we should cut these on an angle to start with. So actually, we could do it on the um, on the metal here. And I got this tool, it came in a package like this with a really lovely case and, and another tool. And it was, oh, something like $5. It wasn't that expensive. Okay, that one's good. A little bit off here there that should do it so like that so let's get this in here so slide your leather through just want to make sure these two pieces of leather are equal here so one's a little longer it looks like so bring that right over to this area here I am going to try and flatten that a bit So this is what I was saying about the edges. If you make them too rounded, but we're going to, we should be able to poke those in there. Yeah. And then slide it like that. Okay. So there is the bracelet part. And once we fold it around, it's pretty snug there's not a lot of huge gapping between the leather and then we're gonna take this and I think these are the same on both sides so slide that in there and these holes the circular holes 
They don't want to go this way, but if you turn them a bit, they go in easier. I am not sure why. It doesn't make any sense. It's a circle. Unless it's an oval and I can't really tell. So I'll get those guys in there. As close to your spacer as you can. So you can do one at a time too. Just pull. There we go. I am going to leave a bit more space though. Maybe that much. No, more. There. Okay, so now we are going to. I think we can add more. As you see, well, I guess it's about the same. So we don't need all that leather. So we can actually cut this and then do the angle as well. But let's see if we can get it in there. And we can cut it after. I say that like I'm asking you guys. I don't know about this. It is my design, but. Okay, so let's double check where I'm going here. Actually, I wouldn't. I wouldn't cut too much off of this, because um, there's not that much to cut. Let me just see if I can get this. I think one side's sharper than the other. There. Just like that. Fold it. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to push the slider down further because what I'm going to do is when I fold this down and we get these little ends in, we can actually push the slider forward. But before we do that, I'm just going to Make a nice clean, this is kind of like doing your beading needle where you want a nice piece of thread to slide in there nicely. There. Okay, so let's see if we can get this forward. Do you see that went forward quite a bit? Yeah, let me make sure, see what I'm doing. So you might have to do it one at a time. So kind of there. Put that in. Take this one. And this one needs to be thinner. There. Especially because we have the wire there too. So just grab it like that. That's doing good. Let me if I can match that in a little better. Okay. I'm going to hold on to this part here while I try and wiggle this up. And actually you can take and squish your leather a bit. will help that get on there. If we can 
please this guy. There. Oh, look at that is not nice. <laughs> That's not friendship. Okay, we need to take that off and put a new one on. So these, that's interesting to see because I thought these were a little more high end. So the shiny stuff comes off. I would imagine this would come off during regular wear if it came off from scratching. And let me adjust this. Um, see, this is a little too... I need to tighten it so that it... the corners don't get hooked. Okay. Hopefully this doesn't break. Okay, let's try and flatten this leather a little bit in this area just by squeezing it with your flat nose pliers. Okay, about there. And let's flatten these guys. Okay. And don't worry about your your bead wire getting a bit bent. We can straighten that out or round it as it as we get it um, finished. Oh, I took the same one. I put extras out, so, oh, those are the gold ones. God, I don't know where the others are. Let me see if I can find them. I just, uh, reorganized reorganized a lot of my stuff so I have all the different sizes here but those ones where those are I think I paid more for them one of the gold ones till I can find the proper one I'll just I won't glue it and I'll take it apart so put your slider on So 
it's going on a little easier. Make sure they're nice and equal. Put your anchor on. A little further. Let's see if we can get this one on. I'm going to bring this down more, make that easier. That in there. I think I might cut this a little thinner. And like I said, the leather is not totally um, the same diameter, and it's just because it's an organic thing. So you, they do the best they can to get it a certain thickness. Okay, so those are on there. Let's see if we can wiggle this into place. Try not to scratch it. I think this is when I scratched it the last time. Let me see if I can... Sometimes you can pull it through and it will take the secondary piece with it. And Let's see if we can get this guy in. So if you did this with um, thread or like a beading thread or Eslon thread, yeah, that one in, you wouldn't have this much struggle because it's not as thick. So let me just tug on this to make sure it's in there. And. 
around. And there we have it. There's the closure side of it. And normally it won't, wouldn't take this long to get in there. I think maybe, you know, I, I just added a bit too much um, wire there. So I'll just be aware and be careful. So this one, this the gold one, got chipped as well. I don't know if you can see that. So I'll do some research and see if I can find some different sliders because I want to be able to sell some nice bracelets too. And um, now that a lot of the COVID restrictions are up, but uh, I don't want to sell something that's going to fall apart. So, so when I mentioned about selling this at um, sales, uh, what do we take? 16... Uh, I don't know how many inches in a yard, but, you know, once you have these supplies, you could make these for pretty good, you know, a profit if you sell them at um, craft sales. So there you go. There's my bracelets, lovely anchor bracelets. Um... I, when I made this one, I wore it like constantly after that. I forgot I even had it on. And since I've had my hand surgeries, um, I, I notice bracelets a lot more in my hand, my wrists hurt. So that's how nice and comfortable these bracelets are. So there you go. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you with a, um, organizing uh, update <laughs> that's gonna be fun and show you some of the stuff I'm working on and then uh, I'll be doing some more tutorials <laughs> take care everybody bye for now